In this video, I'm demonstrating on how to utilize the software uh, to manipulate and prepare the file to import into the detector scale. Uh, this is an easier process than having to utilize the scale to program the items. Uh, so start with the config wizard, you know, here. And um, let's go ahead and say that we want to, uh, you know, the first config, we want to manage the print format and barcode. We're going to skip the management cell operation and unit and display. We're going to, you know, deal with the blue and the short keys, uh, short card keys. So let's go next. Uh, this one, we're not changing anything here, but if you were to change the role and you needed to change the, you know, the, 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 ta the paper type, this would be the place where you would do it. Ours is configured correctly for now. Um, this right here is, you know, we can go into edit and put in CSI works. Uh, this is for the store name. And then we can put in our web address, for example, for the device name, right? And go next. Um, so here we like the the EAN thirteen two five five plus one, uh, the item part one for the flag. I'd like you to change it to two instead of twenty, and go next. All right. So this is our item screen. So let me go ahead and add a few items um, here. And I'm going to use the email that you sent me here. So, baby ribs. Uh, this is going to be LB and 799 um, baby ribs. So, this is going to be beef chick. Uh, this is also LB 499. LB chopped gold and it's 5.99 and then chicken wing and let me go ahead and set up chicken wing as pieces uh, instead of pounds just to demonstrate that the scale is capable of doing that uh, 2.99 for the piece let me go ahead and delete the item number well, 5, we don't have it. So items, I'm going to make it the same as the pool number. So this is going to be your pool, and the item is going to be the same. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, not doing anything with these uh, index barcode on the shelf dates. That's pretty much it. And you can add as many as you'd like here, and I think it's easier you know, to even work this grid than having to work the scale. Um, that's just a shortcut keys, and they kind of get generated, you know, cons one plus one um, and now we're doing the file right so we're doing the TMS file I'm just gonna say let's go ahead and put this into you know our C folder um, and let's call this 150 and let me just sort of do that here so here it's going to be here and we want to select clear data and config wizard right and then execute the file and now you just place this file into the uh, the, the usb drive in the folder that's called uh, this jh scale folder with the file inside it 150 um, and take that full uh, file to the scale and import it with the USB drive. And I'm going to show you in a video how to do that next. All right, so I'm inserting the uh, USB drive. All right, and I'm going to execute program 41. Right, and now it's asking me to put in the code, uh, the number of the file, and minus 150. Now, as soon as I hit this, it's going to execute, and it's going to clear everything that I have on the scale and replace it with those items that we've set up. Um, so there it is, it's done. I'm going to switch back to sale, and I'm going to zero it out something on the scale so we did set up one blue so it, here it is so you can see that it's baby ribs now um, two blue gives you this one three blue gives you that and four blue 
and as you can see that it does the pieces right um, and interesting but um, let's go back to one wool right and I'm gonna go ahead and print and so here's the label that it's going to produce um, and that will work with uh, clover so I hope this helps